Hello there, and welcome to Dr. T for today, July the 11th. That's right, it is 7-Eleven, and I'm going to go buy me a squishy. Alright, maybe not a squishy. I don't know if they actually... Do squishies even exist anywhere? Uh, stage 1, by the way, 38,000 hit points. Obviously, no challenge for our riflemen. Riflemen, because it is Rifleman Weekend. Booyah! And we're, we're just going to basically roll with the Rifleman as long as possible because why not? They, you know, cost like two gold to, to throw into our crafts and maybe like a diamond to refresh everything. I'm pretty sure when I switched up the troops it was 12 diamonds to reload all of my landing crafts, which is hilarious. Uh, stage 2, by the way, had 120,000 hit points, and now that we're on Stage 3, it has 83,000 hit points, and again, more war... <laughs> sorry, not warriors, more riflemen gonna go in and do some damage. But, yeah, like, I, I know Slurpees are a thing, there, there are definitely Slurpees around here, but I don't think there's anything called a Squishy, which, obviously, you know, it's Squishy is... From the Simpsons, but I, I kind of wonder: does is does anyone out there have like a convenience store or something that sells squishies? Like, is this an American thing? Maybe I don't know. I'm curious. All right, moving on because we only lost one rifleman. Stage four has a hundred and twenty-six thousand hit points, which is good because we're getting back into the HP territory. Also, it is surrounded by so many rocket launchers, and you know, uh, not just rocket launchers, but like rocket launchers, mortars, flamethrowers. It is the anti-rifleman like setup, which is horrible, but. In we go anyways, because we have way too much GBE, and we're just going to have some fun with it, because why not? So, uh, going right-hand side, obviously there are a few defenses that will be in our way, but we can very easily cut our way through those, and whilst we do lose a few of our comrades... We don't care because they're freaking riflemen and they're like a swarm of ants just pouring over everything. It's like watching Indiana Jones when they're like in the jungle and they're trying to race away from the ants and the ants are just like pouring over people and then they keep going and the person is just like a skeleton. They're doing that to Dr. T's base. Dr. T's bases are the people and the riflemen are the ants just pouring through there. Anyways, stage 5, 269,000 hit points on the HQ, 12,000 hit points on the boom cannon, which you can see sitting right there, right next to the beach, and frankly, we don't give a darn, because we got riflemen. Now, the machine guns, on the other hand, darns are given, but, you know, uh... Mortars too, I guess. Really everything except for the boom cannon. <laughs> but we'll 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 make do. We'll we'll find a way of making this happen. And most importantly, we will find a way of clearing all the mines because those two are actually dangerous for the wee riflemen. Kinda feel like counting like, you know. It's like the song, you know, like, 99 bottles of beer, only it would be riflemen, so when you land, you've got, what, 6 times 25 minus 1, of course, so 149 riflemen, just, I'm not gonna actually do it, you've, you've already been subjected to my singing once, that's more than enough for any sane individual, so, I'm just saying, 149 Riflemen on the wall. I, I guess they're not really on the wall, but whatever. They could be on the wall. We could put them there. They'd probably stay too, because, you know, if they're riflemen, they're infantry, they're trained to do as they're told by the commanding officer. All we have to do is get the commander. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Anyways, with this, we'll take down stage five of Dr. T and move on to stage 6 where we unfortunately have to bid adieu to the riflemen because 
as you can see, stage six gets kind of crazy, kind of fast. It is a ridiculously tough stage six. Like, we've had stage sevens that aren't as hard as this stage six. It has 400,000 hit points on the HQ. It has 20,000 hit points on the boom cannons. It has 19,000 hit points on the shock launchers. But the HP, okay, the HP is a thing. Like, don't get me wrong. That, that There is a lot of HP floating around out there. The thing that's really killer is there are three shock launchers that cover pretty much the entire approach to Dr. T's HQ. So all three of them have to be taken out. But then there's also at least three boom cannons that also all have coverage for the approach to the HQ, which means we have to take out all the freaking boom cannons too. It, this is like a crazy tough base, because once you start adding all of those up with their 20,000 hit points per, things start getting pretty nasty. And as you can see, we're already starting to run low on GBE coming up the right hand side after taking out a bunch of little Goombas that we're not even really that worried about. Now, I was really hoping that parking myself up against the very top of the map on the right hand side that I would be able to basically outrange the boom cannons and, you know, take down the, the HQ for in relative safety. I very quickly learned when I got up here because of the way my tanks are spreading out and doing their thing, that ain't an option. So unfortunately, I have figured this out way too late. <laughs> and my tanks are sitting here while I have no GBE and they're basically just sitting ducks just waiting for those massive boom cannons to pound away on them and I threw a med kit out of desperation because like what else do you do when a boom cannon's just having its way with your tank there's not much anyways we do get the win even if it is a rough one and a we do lose a couple of tanks, but we get a crystal, we get some resources, we get, you know, I, I guess we get parts, but eh, I don't care about the dumb parts. I don't use those anyway. Maybe I should, though. Maybe I'd be able to actually get a little bit further with Hammerman if I did. Hmm. Anyways, we're moving into stage 7, and now I told you stage 6 was hard, and we've had stage 7s that are easier than that stage 6. I wish I could tell you, and this is one of them, but it's not. This is possibly harder than stage 7 from like 3 days ago, where I had to use freaking warriors to run through and actually finish off stage 7. Um, the HQ has 461,000 hit points. Each of these freaking boom cannons has 31,000 hit points, and there's even one on the far left side. You can see it sitting there with its smug little high level face. It would, it's like 33,000, 34,000, around there. And then each of these shock launchers has 29,000 hit points. So these things are all ridiculously beefy. And our poor tanks just, you know, going right in there, doing the best they can. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I wanted to be able to take it down with tanks so badly. I was like, screw this. I have to do a map clear anyways. So I boosted for stage 7. I'm not going to lie to you. And I needed every ounce of GBE damage and health that I was able to get out of that boost. Like, this is crazy. Now the good news is, if you hug right up at the very top on the right hand side basically right where I'm flaring everybody into you're out of range of the shock launcher if nothing drifts down south and you're also out of range of the cannon that is sitting there 
And from this little vantage point, basically your tanks can slowly whittle down Dr. T's HQ. And you will have a few defenses, you know, sniper towers and mortars and everything that are, are kind of tossing some damage at your tanks, but your medics should be able to counteract that, assuming they're not spending 90% of their time stunned because of one idiot medic who's like, I don't care about range. <sighs> Anyways, very, <laughs> very hard fought and very hard earned. Stage 7 coming to us. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully you guys do better on your stage 7 and 6 and 5 for that matter than I did. And ho most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. And I'm going to add on another hopeful. Hopefully friggin' tomorrow's a little bit easier because my goodness... 